Welcome to another Alice user question video. So I had someone on my account ask me um, if I had done any videos on booleans and what they're for and I did a quick answer there but I wanted to do a little uh, more full of a uh, description of what booleans are and also the other types of variables in Alice. So I've got a basic scene right here and I've put in a text model. Uh, with the default word hello in it. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm in this text model and I'm going to grab set text model, drag it in, and just choose custom string and type in say hi. Um, before I go on, I'm really fast, I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna put in a delay uh, above that text model for one second. So that means it's going to, the program will wait one second before it sets the value of text model to high. So let's run that really fast and we see it says hello, waits a second, and then changes the value to high. So by default this text box can accept values of different types of, um, of variables. Uh, the default thing that it accepts is strings. So let's talk a little bit really briefly about what different types of variables there are in Alice. So, the basic types are text strings. Um, in other programming language, they're called strings if it's a group of characters, like a word. For example, hello, hi, abc, one, two, three. Uh, note that like it, this one, two, three, the computer won't actually know that it's a number. It'll think that it's just uh, other letters. Like if in a password, if you have one, two, three in your password, that's not a number. It's just the letters that are used for your password. The computer will never think that numbers in your uh, password are are actually numbers. They're just letters. Anyway, so uh, in other programming languages, text in Alice they're called text string. In other programming languages, they're called strings. Sometimes you'll see char, which stands for character, and that means a single letter or a single uh, letter number, where it, it it like a number that's assumed to be a letter. So that's the first type of variable. The next is decimal number in Alice, and most other places this is called a float. Um, for example, values would be 12.6, 2.83, 1.0, 16.0 times e to the minus three which that's just uh, the whenever you see e and then a number all that means is move the first move the decimal place that many places if it's a minus it'll move to the left if it's a plus it'll move to the right so if it's e to the minus three that means the decimal place moves to the left by three places so that so we move one we get 1.6 we move two we get 0.16 and then we move over again and we get that the actual value of this number is 0 0.016 because we move the decimal place three spaces to the left. Anyway, so decimal numbers are always numbers that have a decimal in them. Um, unlike that would be whole numbers, such as 1, 2, 45, 12, 33. These are like the whole number, the exact number. It's not 1.0. So this number right here, 1.0, and this number here, 1, are completely different. Uh, like, they will add up to the same technically, but the computer sees them as two completely different numbers. Whole numbers are whole. They're exact. Decimal numbers are not exact. They're they're close to exact. So 1.0 is one number, but 1.00 would be another way of describing it. 1.000 would be another way of describing it. So there's really decimal numbers are good to work with, um, but they're not exact uh, in a mathematical sense. Whole numbers are always exactly that number. For example, if we had like in decimal numbers, if we had 0 0.9999999, that would round up to 1.0, but it's not exactly one. Uh, you're probably never going to have to to think about this. Like you might actually be thinking right now, well, that's kind of stupid. They're the same to me, and for all intents and purposes, they are the same. Just the computer treats them as two separate things. Uh, in Alice, it's decimal numbers and whole numbers. In other programming languages, it's often 
These would be float variables, because the decimal point floats, it changes. Like, notice down here where we had to move the decimal place over three spaces. In that sense, the decimal is floating, it, it moves. Um, and integers uh, is the other type in you'll see in other programming languages. And then the last type of variable that Alice has that's easy to get to is s thing. And that would be just the name of a function. For example, this, ground, or camera. So now that I've shown you the types of variables, let's go back really fast and look at uh, ways that we can set it. So we have this set value, we drop down, and I'm gonna, uh, these three options aren't really gonna do much, but if I go down to high plus, I can do the high and then I can add in something else. I can add in another text string, or a decimal number, or a whole number, or an s thing. So let's do decimal number first. So we run it for a second, it says hello, and then it changes to high plus the value 0 0.25. If we change it to something else, like a whole number, we can do a custom whole number and say 82. So what we expect to happen when we hit run is that it says hello for a second, and then after a second, it sets the value to high 82. So we run it, hello, and then it changes to high 82. We're now displaying a text string and a whole number. The final one is this S thing, and that would be this, this ground, this camera, and this text model. So for example, this camera, let's just click on it and see what happens. For a second it says hello, and then it changes to high camera. So it basically just takes the name of the, the object, for example, camera, and it just plugs it in there. It's this, this isn't really that useful. You're probably not going to see, you're probably not going to use the S thing very often uh, when you're programming. Um, so those are the four basic types of variables that you'll see in Alice. But wait a second, didn't I start out the video by saying that I had a user who was asking, or I had a, a person asking about Booleans. I didn't see booleans in there at all. And let's go back to the, the drawing and we'll see why. So, booleans are a fifth type of variable, but they really don't show up in Alice all that often. And here's why. Booleans are only a true-false false value. They're called conditionals or conditions in Alice at, or booleans, and everywhere else they're called booleans. Um, but basically it just means, is this thing going to be true or is it going to be false? And Alice, rather than creating a whole uh, way to access that variable, they, they uh, sort of incorporated the, the booleans in the, in the functions that you actually use them in. So let's go back to the program and I'll show you. So if I drag a while thing or a while loop up here and I drop it, it'll ask me what condition do I want to start out with? Do I want to start out with true or do I want to start out with false? Uh, Booleans are either or. Um, in the early days of computers, all computers could make decisions were, uh, the, the only way computers can make decisions were either yes or no. Everything was black or white. And then after a while, uh, and the, the reason for that is uh, when computers first came out, everything was coded in zero or one. So if it was zero, it was false. If it was one, it was true. So everything had a true-false uh, answer to it. So as, as time went along, rather than relying on this pure logic of it's either true or it's false, uh, computer researchers came up with something called fuzzy logic, where you could have a whole range of values from true to kind of true to falsy to false-ish to false or whatever else in between. Um, so that's what fuzzy logic is. If you hear about that uh, in other classes, it's just it's not it's it's having more options than just true or false. It's adding in a in between range. Um, so what will happen if I choose true is whatever is inside of here will run forever until this is no longer true. So if I set it to false, it will never run. If I click down here, you can see next random boolean. So what it'll do is it'll choose a random true or false for this 
uh, for this loop. So each time I run the loop, or each time I run the program, this will either be true or false. It'll just choose randomly whether it's true or false. If it's true, it'll run. If it's false, it will go. It will skip this loop and go down to whatever's after that. Now you also see booleans in if statements. Uh, true or false. If it's true, it'll go here. If it's false, it'll go here. Let me let me show you. So let's drag this here. And so if this is true, then the we're gonna set the value to high plus camera. And then if it's false, we will say hello and change that to high plus twenty five. So if it's true, it'll say this. If it's false, it'll say that. I'm going to go down and I'll choose next random boolean, run, and then it says hello 25. If I choose to restart, so that means that in this case it shows false as the random boolean. If I choose restart, it'll run it, and then high camera, it shows true. If I do restart, it'll choose it, and again it shows this camera. So it's just randomly picking either true or false and plugging it in here. So that those are the basic types of variables that you're going to see in Alice and actually that you're going to see in most other computer programs. Um, when I mentioned the fuzzy logic, you're not going to see that in uh, uh, introductory programming courses. And you actually don't really see that until you get to like there's there's no basic uh, function in, in programming for doing fuzzy logic. That's more more advanced than you'll see in in a first or second semester uh, college course, really. Um, I just threw that in so that you kind of have a little bit of a background. So hopefully this video was useful and kind of helps you understand the differences between text strings, decimal numbers, whole numbers, S things, and Booleans. And S thing you're really not gonna see in other programming languages. It, Alice added it as a way for you to um, get the names of functions if you need them. Um, but yeah, so that is variable types, and I will see you next time in another Alice user question video. Thanks. Bye.